What is up friends today? I'm very excited for this video because we are going to explore 100 Islands! Hundred Islands Nestled along the western coast of the Philippines, the Hundred Islands of Alaminos in Pangasinan is a true gem of natural beauty. In this video, we embark on a journey to discover the secrets and wonders of this island adventure. It was very nice, very nice. All we, we see is just a bunch of corals. So pack your bags and get ready to be mesmerized by the natural beauty, vibrant culture, and rich history of the Hundred Islands. I'm very excited for this trip because firstly, this is my first time and secondly, there's a bunch of activities that we can do here. There are a lot of uh, places that we can visit and thirdly, there's a bunch of activities that we can do here such as snorkeling, a zip line, and more. So yeah, I'll show you the beauty of Pangasinan. To get to the islands that Pangasinan is proud of, we needed a boat which took us around 15 to 20 minutes on our first destination, the Sanil Island. As we crossed from one island to a nearby one, we walked on these floating bridges, as they call it, which I found economical and resourceful because they used recyclable materials such as plastic islands as means to connect the islands. It's great and bouncy. So, yun po yung crocodile island. Makikita nyo po yung crocodile island doon. Diba? Makikita nyo yung shape niya mukhang crocodile doon. It's called the Sandal Island given its obvious shape as that of a sandal. So this is the pilgrimage island and as you can see it just looks like the Statue of Liberty in Brazil. Indian Liberty! Basta yung statue of... Basta ito ay isang statue. Sa Rio de Janeiro. Here in the floating bridge as you can see it's very resourceful because they use the plastic gallons and recycled it to form this mini raft or floating bridge as they call it. It's so cute! Wow, it's very huge. Do not eat them, they grow as big as this. See, so no to bangus eating. After crossing the bouncy floating bridge, the next you'd find is the famous pilgrimage island, which took us a lot of breath given the many steps you have to take on. You have to exactly take on 1,413 steps as said by the tour guide himself. This is the 8th station already but I think there's still like 500 plus more steps. <laughs> this feels unending. If you're going here, you have to prepare yourself for some long climbing on stairs. But if you're lazy and you don't want to exhaust yourself, there is a shortcut for everybody. By the way, the best way to come here is from September to November as there aren't that many tourists that visit during those months. And we were lucky ourselves because we went here on September. There were a handful of tourists but it was manageable. Very very near. I can see it. I can see the light. Anyway, after climbing for minutes, we finally arrived at a famous pilgrimage statue called Christ of Savior. And the view here is breathtaking. You can see the multifarious islands from afar scattered in Lingin Gulf that are just so beautiful when you look at them. Of course, we needed to take the shortcut course for it would have been tiring if we climbed down from where we've gone. Just across the pilgrimage island is the Governor Island, where you've guessed it, it's time for zipline. There are three kinds of ziplines, but we chose the zipline in Governor's Island which stretches to 500 meters. Of course, we couldn't afford to lose the chance of this first time experience of zipline, so why not choose the longest one? So this is the Governor's zipline. It stretches from here all the way to the other island. I'm just so excited because this is my first time, first time trying to zipline. At first, I was definitely scared that my camera would drop down even when I was gripping hard on the gimbal. But its space was just right actually. I enjoyed the view from above and the experience of the zipline. 
mataas South experience Great view, nice view Nice view, nice view Nakakatakot So fast, no No, not really <laughs> Bagay, ay, yung sigaw mo eh Grabe yung sigaw mo Kala ko si Kailang Sweet yeah. sigaw It was very nice, very nice, very nice view But it's just that I was very anxious that my phone will drop So yeah, overall I enjoyed it So we're, we're on the boat and we just tried uh, snorkeling But we haven't seen any giant vlog yet Because we did not go far <laughs> Snorkeling only on the shore part <laughs> That's the experience that we had But there are still so many I think there are many snorkeling areas so yeah. Claustrophobic ka. Upon reaching Marcos Island, we went to Bad Cave where we had our experience of cliff jumping. It was awesome and refreshing. Then after that, we had more time to snorkel and see some corals underwater. Snorkeling was super nice. We went underwater <laughs> and we see is just a bunch of corals dead. <laughs> but all you can see is just pure corals and it's a great way to appreciate the beauty of nature. Next stop is the Quezon Island and as our tour guide says, it's the main island and there's a bunch of places where we can eat. So yan po, we are crossing the hanging bridge and mahirap po kasi very hanging. And the more you go in the middle, the more you go in the middle, the more you go in the middle, the shorter the neck that we have. <laughs> After our long break at Quezon Island, our last destination was Children's Island where we spent our time the longest as we snorkel, swim, and enjoy the waters touching our skin. More than to enjoying the fun activities and spending time with friends, one thing that left an impression in me was the sea itself. It's mind refreshing, calming, and touches my soul to the core. The sea whispered promises of return, inviting me to keep the enthusiasm alive that longs for freedom and fulfillment. It's not just hundred islands, but the sea itself calls me. Just like the sea, I desire to be free. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. This has been Jay and friends wondering how odd, isn't it? So this is the life here at the seashore. seashore. We eat halimango. And can you tell us how to eat this? First you have to... Open up, open up. 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 Open up.